there was a man by the name of Malik ibn Dinar. This man was the, one of the worst Muslims who lived at his time. And I'll give you a description of this man. He, he would go about doing the wrong thing, he would steal from people, lie to people, cheat from people, he'd get drunk every single night of the year, he would bash his wife, bash whoever, anyone that comes in his way. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him with a daughter, but who he called her Fatima. And subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed the love of this daughter in his heart. And day by day, night by night, he, her love grew in his heart. And the more that he loved her, and the more that she became older, he stopped doing sins, subhanAllah. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested him. And at the age of three, he lost his daughter. The worst Muslim who is starting to get better, now lost his daughter, Fatima. And she died at the age of three. So shaitan came to him and told him, see, he started to stop uh, swearing and cheating and lying and he started to stop drinking. And look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala done to you. So he told him, tonight drink. Drink so much alcohol like you've never ever drank in your life. And he said, I'm going to get so drunk. And he did. And he drank so much that he went unconscious. And he said, this is him narrating the incident. He said, my brain took me left and right. Between dreams until I found myself standing on the day of judgment. And people are around me. And every time someone's name is called, there will be billions of people. Every time someone's, someone's name is called, he'll collapse on the ground and everyone run away from him. People know that that's him. Until my name was called. Aina Malik ibn Dina. Where is Malik ibn Dina? So I just collapsed and everyone just ran away from me. All the people around me. And the angels dragged me all the way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ikhwani, can you imagine that scene? Wallahi al-Azim. By Allah, I'm going to stand and you're going to stand. I'm going to stand there, you're going to stand there. What have we prepared for it? And he said, I was brought forward and then all I see is a large serpent. A large snake is chasing me. So I ran away. I'm running away in the in Ard al the ground of the Mahshar, away from this snake. And all I see is her fire. And I'm considering to jump into her fire just to be safe from this snake. And then I saw a very old man, very fragile man. And I told him, Ya Abdullah, O slave of Allah, protect me from this snake. So this man began to cry. He told him, me protect you from the snake? No way. Run in this direction. That's all I can do for you. And he kept running. And I'm cutting a long story short. He kept running in the Ard al-Mahshar. And every time he'll see her fight, he'll consider to jump in at Ikhwani. And then, and the snake constantly runs after him. And then he heard little children screaming out, Fatima, Fatima, go save your father, O oh, Fatima. So all he sees is his little daughter comes. And she ran towards him and she grabbed her dad and the dad was shivering and she told the snake go away and the snake went away and she sat down her uh, dad and she told him ya abata o oh father alam ya'ni lil ladina amanu an takhsha qulubuhum ila dhikrillah li dhikrillah oh father isn't it time for the believing hearts that their heart for the believing souls that their hearts hearts would crumble would would enjoy the fear of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so he said, Bala qad an, Bala qad an. Yes, it is time. Yes, it is time. And he told her daughter, What is that snake? She told him, That snake is your bad deeds. All your life you've been doing bad deeds. That, that, your bad deeds became so strong, they became a large serpent, a large snake chasing you around. You were going to end up in her fire because of your deeds. And he told her, Who is that old fragile man? She told him, That old fragile man, man is your good deeds. So Malik ibn Nina wakes up from his drunkness wakes up from his sleep he makes ghusl and he goes to the mosque and the imam is reciting in surah al-fatiha after surah al-fatiha isn't it time for the believing souls that their hearts would crumble to the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ikhwani the difference between you and the and the forgiveness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is you repenting تذكر يوما كنت تعانق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة تسري فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحب